that three volunteers at Albuquerque Animal Welfare are under fire this evening following claims that they have been harassing staff and two of them are even accused of mistreating some of the animals. A new report from the Office of the Inspector General details what happened. Here's News 13's Jackie Kent with a response from the Animal Welfare Director, Jackie. Yeah, the claims are centered around volunteers for the Freddy Cat program at the Eastside Shelter. They're apparently butting heads with some staff, and one of them reportedly admitted to pushing a cat's limits. As soon as we were, became aware that that was happening, we approached her and actually educated her on the fact that that's not um, our protocol. The initial complaint sent from staff to the Office of the Inspector General states that one of th these volunteers admitted through email and in person to, quote, pushing a cat's limits with fast movements, loud noises, etc., to see if it would react negatively. The city's heart ordinance labels that type of behavior as cruelty for teasing or taunting. In a separate case, another volunteer is accused of using his phone to record a cat in distress after coming off anesthesia, reportedly creating more stress instead of helping a staff member with the animal. He later told the OIG he deleted the video and admitted his actions were in poor taste. This comes as director Carolyn Ortega is proposing to create a more organized cat program and get more staff involved. I do think that there's an opportunity for us to strengthen and create some structure around the volunteer program and the cat program. Um, there has really not been a whole lot of structure and prior to me coming on, um, there wasn't a lot of attention paid to cats. The focus was more on dogs. Ortega also plans to hire a full time volunteer coordinator and a cat behavioralist to help with that program. The three volunteers mentioned in the report are still working at the shelter. Back to you. All right, Jackie, thank you. The department is still looking for volunteers at the east side and west side shelters as well as at Lucky Paws.